Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to our fun English learning. The more you practice your speaking English, the better you will do it. With me, Mr. Mariono, your English teacher. Today, we are going to talk about small talk. Let thing in English. I will not translate in Bahasa. What is small talk? Small talk is polite and informal conversation about things which are not really important or meaningful when meeting people socially. Before reading conversation between Neil and Rock, let's find the meaning some vocabularies below in Bahasa. Awkward. Awkward means feeling uncomfortable. Embrace, or in Bahasa, canggung. Etiquette. Etiquette means set of rule which indicate what acceptable behavior in society is. In Bahasa, etiquette, tata cara. Breaking the ice. Approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly conversation with them. Mendekati seseorang yang kamu tidak tahu, kemudian mulai berbicara dengan mereka. Private, someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinion, or share their feeling. Seorang yang tidak suka memberikan informasi personal, tidak suka memberikan opini atau membagi perasaan mereka. Root, ill manner, or unpleasant, kasar, tidak sopan. Sleep my mind mean forgot atau lupa. As I told you before, I will not translate the conversation between Neil and Rob in Bahasa. So listen carefully. Look at the type. Hello, and I am Neil. Welcome to Set Minute English. And with me in the studio is Rob. Hello, Neil. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, actually. The weather has been nice lately, hasn't it? Yes, it has. The winter has been mild this year, but according to the forecast there, maybe some snow in part of the country next week. And you know, that's good because I love snow and we haven't seen much of it for quite a while. It's only rain, isn't it? Okay, okay. Enough, or they are going to think it's true that British people only talk about the weather, right? In this program, we are talking about conversation and how to start talking with people you don't know. In short, how to make small talk. Right, well, small talk is what we call a polite and informal conversation about things which are not really important or meaningful when meeting people socially, like at a party, for example. And in this program, you will learn some vocabulary about communication. But first, question, Rob, when do babies usually start talking? Is it when they are 9 months, 16 months, or 18 months? Well, I know they start making noises at quite an early age. And I guess if that's talking, let me say 9 months. Okay, well... We'll have the answer to that question at the end of the program. Small talk is social skill. Some people feel awkward. It means they feel uncomfortable, embarrassed when they go to party and don't know many people there. Liz Brewer, the author of Ultimate Guide to Party Planning and Etiquette, know a lot about what to do on this occasion. Etiquette is the set of rules which indicate what behavior in society is acceptable and what is not. Yes, the author knows a lot about the etiquette. Let's listen to her advice. What expression does she use to describe the ache of a tank team to start a conversation with someone? Liz Brower talk about breaking the ice. It means approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly conversation with them. And when you break the ice, talking about things which are not specific is the best way. You don't start a chat asking straight away where people live or what they do for a living. 
And as the author said, we are very private people. Private describes someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinion, or share their feeling. So we need more time to open up to people we've just met. Good, sir. Now you know what to do at party when you don't know the other guests. But Neil, there is one particular situation I'm not sure how to deal with. This is when I forget the name of the person I've been making small talk with. Yes, I know what that's like. You may not feel uncomfortable about allowing the person to realize you didn't really catch their name. It may sound rude. Yes, that's right. I don't want to sound rude, which means ill manner or unpleasant. The person I've just met to approach may think, I don't care. Let's see what tip order on etiquette list brewer has for us. Which word does he use instead of I have forgotten? List brewer say, your name has just slipped my mind. It's gentler way of saying that they've just forgotten the person's name and pretending that you knew the person's name but you want the other name is clever trick. Yes, it may sounds like you forgot the name but not completely and this order shows that you have to interact with people in charming way. Yes, well, my co-presenter, your name has just slipped my mind for the moment. Come on, Rob, you know, you know it, it's Neil. Yes, it's Neil, I'm just practicing my social skill there. Well, I'm afraid you have to practice some other time because, well, I don't want to sound rude. But we are running out of time. Let me give you the correct answer to the quiz questions now. Yes, ask me. When do baby usually start talking? And you get me three options. Yes, and the option were 9 months, 16 months, or 18 months. And I went for the first one, 9 months. Was I right? You were wrong. The correct answer was 18 months. Now, according to the website webmd.com, there are some milestones in speed development. At 6 months, your baby begins bubbling with different sounds. For example, your baby may say Baba or Dada. And then, after that, at 9 months, baby can understand a few basic words. At the age of 18 months, baby say up to 10 simple words. Ah, interesting stuff. And we are still learning words now, aren't we? We are. Well, enough of this small talk and let's remember some of the words we used today, Rob. They were small talk, awkward, etiquette, breaking the ice, private, rude, slip my mind. That's it for this program. Bye bye. This deck is taken from WWBBC Learning English. Subscribe, like, and share. If you like it, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.